All right, hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to change the transmission fluid on my 2013 Chevy Malibu LS. This job's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, you're gonna save your, yourself quite a bit of money if you do it. Um, I called the local mechanic in my town and he wanted to charge 150 bucks just to change the transmission fluid. So, if you go to your, your local parts store, it'll probably only be 30 to $40 um, for the fluid, depending on your vehicle. But for the Malibu, I think it was like 35 bucks. Um, to start, we're gonna wanna find the transmission fluid cap right here, okay? If you see that, it's right to the right of your motor. And you're gonna wanna unscrew that, and then once you get that unscrewed, you're gonna wanna put something over it so that way no contaminants or pieces of junk or hunk or whatever gets into your transmission fluid. Okay, so we're gonna take this off here. Now, one thing to do uh, is you want to drive your Malibu around or your vehicle around for about 20 minutes to get everything warmed up before you do this job. Okay, simple enough. We got the cap off and uh, let me grab a rag and cover this up. Make sure your rag is fairly clean or just use paper towels um, to put over top. So we're gonna put that rag right there just to make sure nothing falls uh, into that hole. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the Malibu jacked up and then I'll meet you guys underneath. So now that I'm underneath my Malibu, we're gonna look for the drain plug screw, not to be confused with the drain plug for your oil pan, which is this plug. This is your transmission and this is, let's see if the camera will focus there, the drain plug screw for your transmission now one thing to keep in mind is that your exhaust is going to be extremely hot and other parts of your motor are going to be very hot as well so keep that in mind when you do this especially if it's your first time uh, you'll want to jack the vehicle up pretty high if you can I've only used one jack stand on the left side because that's all I need to get this job done so uh, I'm going to use an 11 millimeter uh, socket bit to get this bolt unscrewed here and when you take this off your fluids gonna be hot so you're gonna want to try and either wear a glove to protect your hand um, like a thick glove or if you could just pull the screw away quickly you should be just fine all right so let's get this started now you want to have alrighty so you want to get your uh, drain pan ready underneath the screw and get your uh, Now it might take a little bit of effort to break that nut free. Now, if it is not coming off, be sure to use some WD-40 or even to heat it up because you don't wanna break that screw off uh, when it's threaded in like that. Move this light over here. Yeah, guys, so this is super simple, super easy. Uh, don't let it stress you out if, if you've never done it before because it's, it's very, very easy and not complicated at all. Um, and it's not, to me at least, it's not worth the extra money to take it to a place where it might take just a few minutes to get the job done. Again, the local um, mechanic shop near me wanted to charge $150 um, approximately to get this job done and it only cost me about 30 to 40 bucks for the fluid to do and overall this job is only going to take about 10 minutes all right so now that we've got the screw here we're gonna pull it away real quick so that way we don't get uh, that hot fluid all over us but if you see that's some really dark transmission fluid now we're gonna let this drain and uh, and then I'll see you when it's all done. Okay, so got this guy cleaned up. We're gonna move this very slowly as to not spill. Right now that that is out of the way, let's go back to uh, tightening this drain plug bolt 
here. Okay, that should be good enough. Wipe everything down. Now, if you ever notice any leaks, uh, then you may need to tighten it a little bit more. I just don't want to tighten it too much and then it become uh, really hard to get off next time I do this, uh, this transmission fluid change. Okay, so that should be good. All right. <clears throat> now that that part is done, all that's left is to pour in the new transmission fluid. So I'll see you guys up top. Alrighty, so I'm back up top here and I picked up this nifty little funnel at Walmart for about $2 and it will make the job so much easier. In, turn, in terms of uh, putting in this transmission fluid. So we're gonna set that down in there and get that nice and snug. Now, I was able to drain out about six, six and a half quarts of uh, transmission fluid. And right here, I've got Dexron 6 uh, ATF automatic transmission fluid. And as you can see, it is one US gallon, which equals four quarts. So you are going to have to use one and a half of these, um, depending on how much you drain and how much your vehicle requires. Now it's important not to pour too fast or else it may overflow. So we're gonna take it nice and slow here. A few moments later. Now, as you can see on the back here, is a way to see how many quarts are left in the jug. When you go to look at this, make sure you set it on uh, level ground so that way you know um, that it is accurate. We'll let that uh, finish draining and we'll put that cap back on and then that is it. That is your uh, transmission fluid change that you may end up paying a lot more for uh, at your local mechanic. So, thanks for uh, tuning in. And we'll be back next time. I got some more projects that I want to do with this car, uh, including these lights. I still have yet to do these to fix these uh, aftermarket lights that I bought. I did a crap job of putting them in, so we're going to redo that. But, alrighty, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.